Hi my honeys, oh, welcome back to my channel. I know, I look so different. Doesn't it look like I have like no bottom teeth? So of course you guys, this makeup look is inspired by The Lion King because it comes out this Thursday. Today is Tuesday when I'm filming this, so hopefully I I upload this by Thursday. Um, I am so excited to watch that movie. I grew up watching The Lion King. We used to have like uh, the whole collection of Disney movies. My like the DVS, DVH. I remember what they were called. We had every single movie because my uncle from California, he would always um, for Christmas he would always buy us movies. So we had tons of movies, and I regret actually um, getting rid of them. We got rid of them like ten years ago at a garage sale. When when we were moving out of our house and we sold them this old lady I remember she bought them all um I wish I would have kept them because what if they were worth a lot of money later on you know what I mean I didn't know which character I wanted to go with or recreate and then I came across this girl on Instagram well because I hashtag the Lion King makeup um and I came across her I follow her on Instagram she is amazing I don't know her name but I will list her Instagram down below so you guys can follow her she is incredibly talented and so beautiful she's so stunning definitely check out her Instagram um, of course I did tweak a lot of things um, but I did get the inspiration from her um, the eyes are totally different I really wanted to stay kind of to like what scars eyes look so I did pull up this picture from Google and as you guys can see here um, I just took it a little bit higher. It kind of looks like a half cut crease to me. And then he just has like a really dark um, liner around the eye. So I definitely wanted to incorporate something like that. Um, but definitely my look is very glam. Um, it's a makeup look that you can definitely wear for Halloween. If you need a last minute costume, um, throw on some leather pants girl, a black crop top some heels curl this line hair and tease it um and you have yourself a costume <laughs> so i really do hope that you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for being here comment down below let me know which one is your favorite disney movie mine is a little mermaid and so is um the lion king and aladdin those were like my top movies that i would always constantly watch growing up hope you enjoyed today's video besitos and let's go ahead and get started all right, my honeys. So I'm going to start off with actually applying the scar on my brow. I am using my MAC Chromographic Pencil in NC15. It is considered a concealer um, pencil, so I thought it was just best to really draw out where I want to place my scar. Um, and then I do go on top of my brow. I was actually debating on, it, you know, covering it up with... Um, what is that called glue stick first and then do it like the drag way how um, drag queens do their eyebrows and they cover that um, and they cover them up but i felt like that was going to take too long and i really wanted to just kind of like you know try it and really map it out and see if this concealer pencil will work best um and it actually ended up working out really good at the end um so i do layer and layer because i do have thick brows so i do go in more than once with that chromographic pencil by mac and nc15 and the reason why I'm using the chromographic pencil is because it's easier to erase and that's why I'm doing this first um, before anything else. Um, I'm a very visual person so I have to see at first how it's going to apply and then I can determine if I want to apply it last or first but for me personally this works better for me to do the scar first. So I'm going to finish off the scar until the end of the tutorials you guys will see later on. I'm going to start to do my brows and I'm going to go into my Kai Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown by Kylie Cosmetics. And I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Brush, the number 12. I am obsessed with this brush. If you guys don't have this in your life, you need it in your life. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and finish off the tail of my brow. So you want to be really careful so that way you don't touch the scar. And it's okay if you actually do because I do go back in and fix a little mistake that I made next to the scar. I just go back into my um, chromographic pencil and I do draw over it. Um, so it's okay if you do make um, mistakes. Um, they're always fixable when it comes to makeup. Once that's done, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my brows, and I'm using my Sigma Concealer Brush, the F75, and I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Light Beige. Of course, save 10% with Sigma if you use my code SANDY at checkout. 
So the palette we're going to use today is my 35G Bronze Goals palette and this is by Morphe and it's still available on morphe.com if you're interested. Um, and then I'm using my Morphe M441 Shocker. I know I'm not using my Morphe M433. <laughs> so I'm going to be going into the color Record Temps. It's a nice matte orangey brick red shadow and since I like this color because it's inspired by like the desert, you know, so it kind of reminds me of the Lion King. Um, and we're going to place this right in the crease and we're going to smoke it out towards the inner and outer corner but we're definitely going to buff out the shade almost kind of hitting towards our eyebrows um since i do want to take this eyeshadow um higher than usual because obviously scar is an animated character and it just looks like his eyes are like super lifted so that's what we're going to go ahead and do and with whatever you have left on your brush i do want to buff it towards the brows Still using the same brush, I'm going to go back into the color Heat Wave, and it's a nice matte mocha brown, um, a little bit darker than Record Temps, and we're going to place this right in the crease only. And then, you guys, I do go back and forth into Record Temps and then Heat Wave, and I just blend both of them until I am completely satisfied. And once again, I am going higher up than usual. So I pulled up a picture here so you guys can see Scar's eye. It kind of looks like he has like a half cut crease going on. <laughs> so I'm using my Sigma concealer brush, the F75 again with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Light Beige. And we're basically going to shape our eye kind of like a cone, of course, going higher than usual um, since we want to have the illusion of having really big eyes. Um, and I do take it all the way towards the inner and outer corner. Normally I do use my Urban Decay Eden Primer, but I'm completely out, but I've been loving my um, born this way concealer to cut my creases lately it is so bomb and you guys it's totally okay if they don't match I suck at trying to match my eyes whenever I do a half cut crease or a cut crease I don't know why it's just always been a challenge <laughs> I kind of see it just like eyebrows you know they're sisters and not twins Going back to the shade Record Temps, that matte orangey brick color, I'm going to um, smoke out the outer corner and then just buff it out going outwards Still using the same brush, you guys, I'm going to go into Deep End, which is that nice matte black eyeshadow, and I'm going to smoke out the outer corner, kind of like if you were smoking out a wing liner, that's how you want to apply it. And then I go back into Record Temps, and I buff it on top of Deep End to really make it look very smoky and not super harsh. Using my MAC 266 brush, I'm going to go back into Deep End, that nice matte black eyeshadow, and I want to trace over the cut crease because I want to give it more dimension. Um, rather than it looking flat, I was just feeling like it wasn't giving me like the boom effect. Um, it was looking very flat, so I really wanted to add some black. Um, and then you guys, while I am tracing the cut crease, I do buff the eyeshadow going upwards, so that way it looks more blended. And then I'm going to go into my Morphe M506 brush to buff it out. Picking up my MAC 266 again in that matte black eyeshadow, I'm going to start to create the cat eye look that Scar has and just make it look very smoky. And then I go into my um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade 0, which is just a black eye pencil. I'm, gonna, I'm going to start to tight line my eyes and make them more intense and more dark, and then I will take it down towards my lower lash line as well. And then to blend that out, I'm going into my Morphe M507 brush and going into Heat Wave, Record Temps, and then Deep End. For my lid, you guys, I'm going to be setting it with my Morphe Times James Charles palette in the shade Tune. It's a nice matte light peach shade and using my Sigma eye shading brush, the E55. Using my Damn Girl Mascara by Too Faced Cosmetics. And then for lashes, I'm going into Lopez Baddie Lashes in the style Delilah. These are very extreme, you guys. Very long and very full and thick. And I felt like they were perfect for this makeup look today. Taking my Neutrogena Makeup Wipe, I'm going to go ahead and remove any fallout before we start with our complexion. For foundation today, I'm going to go into my Maybelline 24 Hour Foundation in the shade 220 Natural Beige. And I'm using a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to apply my foundation today. Now, the way that I'm applying it is a little bit different. I'm avoiding the upper lip, my lip area, as well as my chin because we are going to go in with a lighter concealer in just a little bit. But definitely apply your foundation everywhere else. Um, be careful with your scar. You do not want to hide that. So for a cleaner application, I do go back into my Sigma concealer brush and with a little bit of foundation I go around my scar. 
So I'm going to start off with cream contouring first, you guys, and then we'll jump into highlighting. So I'm using my Revolution Concealer in the shade C13 and using my BH Cosmetics number 114 Round Blending Face Brush. Unfortunately, they do not sell it separately. You do have to buy the set, but it only runs for like $16. So when it comes to our cream contour today, you guys, Scar has a very um, skinny face. So we're going to cut our cheekbones today, you guys, and then with whatever product we have left, to remain on the brush we're going to buff it in towards the sides of our mouth um, to make it look extra skinny of course we want to warm up our forehead as well as our temples um, and then you guys I do go back into my real techniques beauty sponge and I just buff out any harsh areas we want to try to make this look as quote-unquote natural contour um, unfortunately I was not born with really nice cheekbones <laughs> so I have to fake it till I make it girl just keep alternating you guys with the sponge and the brush remember you can go as heavy as you want aquí sí, you can go super super heavy on your contour and it won't even matter um, just make sure that you just blend out any harsh lines and get your <laughs> double chin as well <laughs> For the nose, I'm going to go into my Sigma Precision Angled Brush, the P84, and I'm going to contour my nose. I absolutely love using this brush, you guys, to contour. Of course, today we're going super ham and extra on my nose, but I normally don't. This brush is really great to pick up some powder contour product and buff it into your nose, and it leaves it looking really nice and seamless, especially for me that I don't really contour my nose. like super extreme i'm not a pro at it so i just love using this brush to buff in product for concealer today you guys i'm going into my Too faced multi sculpting concealer in the shade almond i'm going to place this towards my under eyes a little bit on my forehead and then down the bridge of my nose i am going to be avoiding the upper lip and my lips of course and the chin area because we're going to go in with a brighter concealer um to blend out my concealer i'm going to go into my luxie 510 foundation brush just to blend out underneath my eyes and then the rest I'm going to use my beauty sponge for the brighter concealer I'm gonna go into my elf cosmetics in the shade fair warm so it's very very fair and I'm using my Sigma f04 brush to go ahead and buff this concealer out once again we're gonna place it above our lip all of our eye lips as well as the chin and so once you buff out the concealer I do like to go back into the contour brush that we did use to blend out our contour I have no product on there whatsoever um, but I want to buff out the harsh lines and then to set the cream contour, you guys, I'm going to go into my Morphe Contour Palette. This is the 8L Lo-Fi Palette. And I'm using my Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush, the F40. It's always important, you guys, to always start off with your creams first and then set them with powder. And then, you guys, for my nose, I'm going to go into the Precision Angled Brush again, the P84. Um, to set my cream contour, I'm using the same Morphe palette. Um, and then you guys, I'm gonna go into this pressed powder by BH Cosmetics and it's in the shade Vanilla. I'm gonna use this to set the highlighted areas that we applied concealer. The brush that I'm using is the Morphe M438. Also going back to my James Charles um, palette, I'm going to be picking up the shade Flashback, which is that nice matte white eyeshadow. And I'm just going to set the area where we place the lighter concealer and I'm still using the exact same brush. For the nose, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Perversion Liquid Eyeliner and it's waterproof. Y me estoy presionando para que todo me salga bien. <laughs> so basically just create the nose that you desire. And then I'm going to... Um, um, take it and take a straight line um, from my the tip of my nose down to my cupid's bow and then I'm going to basically fill in just the top portion of my lip. I'm going to be using my NYX gel liner in the shade white. Obsessed with this product, you guys. It's so pigmented. I definitely recommend this. Um, and I'm using a very detailed brush and I'm just going to fill in the negative space that we left um, towards the inner corner of our eyes. This is really going to help make our eyes look a lot bigger. Now you guys, to keep it nice and neat, I'm going to be using my Morphe brush, the M432, and dipping back into deep end to do some last minute touch-ups. And I go back into my chromographic pencil and I shade in the scar a little bit more. And then I'm going to start to create the lower scar. Now I make the lower scar a little bit more smaller than the top because I feel like when you scratch something, the top is always bigger than the bottom. And then I'm going back into my MAC 266 and I'm going into a lighter brown shade 
and I'm going to just smoke out like the back of the scar and then blend it out so that way it looks a little bit more realistic. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara towards my lower lashes and then I'm taking my Kai Brow Clear Gel and I'm going to run it through my brows but I'm going to try to stick them up so that way they look more furry. <laughs> Going into some Rodeo Drive by um, Ofra Cosmetics, I'm using the same brush, the M438, taking it down the bridge of my nose. I wanna be super glowy. And I'm gonna go ahead and fix my hair. And we are pretty much done, you guys, with this makeup tutorial inspired by The Lion King. I did Scar, and this is definitely a very glam Scar. <laughs> maybe scar's wife um i love you guys so much give this video a big thumbs up like and share and i'll see you guys all in the next one bye